Hey guys, Nichols here, and today we're gonna take a look at the newly revealed mobile suit designs for Gundam the Witch from Mercury. And we're not just gonna take a look at them, we're also gonna guess what they're gonna be, what role they're gonna play in the story, and who is gonna pilot them. So first, let's take a look at Gundam Schwazet. This is honestly not my favorite design out of the Gunplus Revealed. So today Bandai revealed a bunch of designs and kits as part of their next phase 2022 winter event. And this Gundam Schwazet seems to be what most people are talking about. In my opinion, it's not the best out of the designs that were revealed, but it's certainly the most interesting lore-wise. If you take a close look at it, you can tell that this was designed, or was probably designed by Ipe Gyobu. It's got that surface detail he loves so much. It's got the curves, especially the one on the head. And we all know Ipe Gyobu loves that. And the chest also also looks like Daryl Baldus chest. It, it looks very similar. So this design is definitely under the Jetric faction. And with that said, a lot of people are guessing this is going to be Bob's new mobile suit. But honestly, it looks a little too underwhelming to be piloted by Bob. Because Bob, you know Bob. You'd expect his mobile suits to use spears and like have those really cool looking shields on the shoulders. But this one looks a little too minimal for him. So it's also possible this is just a prototype or a preliminary form and maybe it gets upgraded eventually. And I guess it's also safe to guess that this might be Lada's mobile suit. Now let's take a closer look at its weapon, which is a great sword. Since this mobile suit probably uses gunned arms, we can assume that this sword will eventually split into multiple pieces. And as you can see, there's a line at the middle of the sword. So it's very possible the two sides can split and fly around as Maybe even as rifle bits, because as you can see, they're like, because as you can see, there are like small gun openings near the tip of the sword. And maybe the handle could be a beam saber while the blade bits are flying around. And now let's look at the other Gundam, which apparently still does not have a name. But based on how the design looks, based on how the shield looks, how the head, the chest, the shoulders look, I think I can assume this is designed by Takayuki Anase, who also seems to be the designer of Gundam Lufreeth or and Gundam Lufreeth Thor. If you look around this mobile suit, it doesn't really look like it uses gunned arms. It doesn't have those glowy line things. Or maybe it does and we just don't see it right now. Maybe the mid piece of the head and that black part on the chest actually glow. Maybe they do, we just don't know yet. So with that said, this could be a minor mobile suit used by Earthians. Who knows, maybe even Nika might eventually pilot this. Or this could be a mobile suit used by Prospera or her assistant. Who knows? Or it's also possible this could be Delling's Gundam. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, I just want to say that I really, really like this design. I love the proportions. I love Takayuki Yanasa's use of blocky shapes. And I like how he often uses that muscular build to define the mobile suit. So yeah, I just wish it had more accessories. It probably will get more accessories, maybe. I imagine they'd eventually reveal more about this mobile suit little by little, either before the first part ends or as soon as the second part begins. And if you guys are familiar with William Shakespeare's The Tempest, which G-Witch seems to like referencing, there's a chance that this Gundam could be Gundam Caliban, and maybe that's the reason why they don't want to reveal its name yet. Because if they reveal its name, then it's kind of going to be obvious as to what the role of this mobile suit would be in the story of G-Witch. So yeah, now let's talk about the third mobile suit, the Demi Barding. I mean, with how it looks, this is probably going to be Choo Choo's upgrade unit. And yeah, very well deserved. It looks cool and she deserves a very cool unit. If you look at the backpack, you can see they're trying to sort of emanate her twin buns. <laughs> and it works, it works. And we also get that R2-D2 scanner behind. It, uh, I think it looks really cute. Cute and practical at the same time, in my opinion. And seeing how there's a lot going on in the backpack, it seems to have cannons. It seems to have extra thrusters. So yeah, Choo Choo definitely has more firepower right now, more, more offensive power and more mobility with this backpack. Assuming these components are what I think they are. And we also get Gunpla announcements for the Zowart Heavy, the Delanza Soul, 
and the Heinri Sturm. Now, you know, they, they all look cool in my opinion, but I think my personal favorite out of the three is the Zewart Heavy. I mean, look at that. It looks like something straight out of Armored Core, which makes sense because, well, it's designed by an Armored Core designer. And a little bit of an unpopular opinion here, but I actually think this looks cooler than the Farrakt, but that's definitely just me. A lot of people would disagree. Like, I just think this design looks more interesting and more fun to play around with in terms of model kits. And it also looks very fun to paint. Like imagine this weathered. This is gonna look so good weathered. So yeah, that's it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and your predictions and your, you know, your overall opinions about these designs and kits on the comment section down below. That's it for the video. You all have a nice day and let's look forward to how G-Witch, or rather the first part of G-Witch, wraps up.